SARS, the public sector's answer to a chief. Like their Russian namesakes, they're nominally in charge of things they don't really control. Drugs, antisocial behaviour. And their ultimate fate is likely to be a firing squad and burial in quicklime. Senior backbenchers. Backbenchers who returned our calls, says Rob Hutton. If this simply sounds implausible, because say they were only elected last week, try Rising Star. Well, we're all guilty of talking about senior backbenchers when, in all fairness, some of them are not terribly senior. Eccentric, which is defined here as mad. Now, as a sketchwriter, I find myself using the word eccentric all the time for obvious reasons. And I'm often getting MPs coming up to me and saying, what did you mean when you said that I was eccentric? And I just say to them, that I consider it to be the highest compliment. But now they might know the truth. Well, my least favorite bit of journalese is when you see or hear or read a political correspondent saying it's the timing of this development or statement that makes it so significant. What that means is there's nothing especially unexpected or, or even significant about it at all. But I'm just so desperate to get in the paper or on the air that I'm going to flam it up. It has emerged that what that really means in broadcast speak is, I read it in the papers, but I don't want to tell you that. But there's also a BBC variant. The BBC has learned that. It sounds so academic, so cerebral, so not like the other networks. Oh dear, crunch talks, calculated snub. I would never talk that. Like it's appalling cliches on it. This is, if you like, a giant raspberry blown at the political establishment. And yet tonight, we stand on the brink, it seems. Do you agree with the Chancellor that the glass is half full? Or do you agree with Ed Balls that the glass is more than half empty? They have rocked Westminster. They're making all the other political parties think and think hard. 